we're going to talk about the things to consider. So if you want to know what is it, just keep on watching. Things to consider. Things to consider. There are many devices, parts, cord, and connections on a computer, which means that there are many possible problems that could arise. In addition, your computer uses a variety of software which can also cause problem. However, no matter what the problem is, you can use the following tips to, to help you find a solution. Always check the cables. Many computer problems are related to an issue in the cables and connections. The easier first steps you can take to the troubleshoot, most problem is to check all related cables and connections. Isolate the problem. If possible, try to isolate the problem. For example, if you can get the cursor to move on the screen, try to determine if the issue is with the mouse. If you have an extra mouse, you can have alternate devices to see if the one plug is in the issue. Or use the arrow key on the keyboard to help determine if the mouse is the source of the problem when trying to isolate the problem. Only make one change at a time. At a Take notes about error messages. If your computer gives you an error messages, be sure to write down as much information as possible. If the basic troubleshooting steps don't work, you may need the information. Always check the cables. Remember the steps you've, you've taken or write them down. Once you start troubleshooting, you will want to remember what you have done so you don't have to repeat yourself. If you can remember it, then write it down. If you end up asking someone for help, it will be much easier if they know exactly when steps you've taken. Simple solution to common problems. Most of time, problem can be fixed by using simple troubleshooting techniques such as closing and reopening the program. It it's important to try this simple solution before resulting to the more extreme measures. If the problem still isn't fixed, you can try the other troubleshooting techniques, such as reinstalling the software. Program running slowly or isn't working right. If the program running slowly or otherwise isn't working right, the first things you should try is closing the program and reopening it. You can also shut down your computer, wait a few seconds, and boot up again. Some minor problems will work themselves out when you do this. Check with the company for any known problems or updates to the software. Program is completely unresponsive. If a program has become completely unresponsive, you can press or hold Ctrl Alt Delete on your keyboard. To open the tax manager, you can then select the program that isn't working and click click and tax. If you are using a Mac, you can press Option Command plus ESCS to open a similar dialog box. Non-system disk or disk error message. If you get this message, when you boot up your computer, it usually means that there is a CD, DVD, USB flash drive, or floppy disk in your computer, which is interfering with your computer's booting process. Remove the disk from the drive and restart your computer. Problem starting or shutting down the computer. If your computer does not start, begin with checking the power cord to confirm that it is plugged securely into a back of the computer case and power outlet. If it is plugged into an outlet, make sure it is working outlet of 10 then, and then this will require you to plug and lamp or other electrical device into the outlet to make sure it is receiving power. If the computer is plugged into a surge protector, verify that it is turn, turned on. You may have to reset the surge protector by turning it off and then back on. You can also plug a lamp or, or other device into a surge protector to verify that it is on. 
If you are using laptop, the battery may not be charged. Plug the AC adapter into the wall and then try to turn on the laptop. If it still doesn't start up, you may need to wait a few minutes and then try again. Windows shutting down message will not disappear. Sometimes, window will freeze during the shutdown process. If this happens, the window is shutting down message screen will stay active on your screen to finish shutting down the computer. Press and hold the power button for about 10 seconds or until the computer turns off. Computers begin randomly rebooting or crashing. Check for overheating. Make sure that the vent and the case are not blocked. Confirm that there is good airflow about the computer. Update your antivirus software and scan for viruses. Problems with the monitor and speakers. No pictures on monitors. Confirm that computer is turned on. Check the brightness control located on your computer or monitor or your keyboard and make sure it is not set too low. Check the connection for the monitor and search protectors and make sure that the search protector is on. Monitor goes blank periodically. You may have the screen saver enabled. If the screen saver enabled, just move your mouse back and forth and your original screen will appear. You can change the screen saver settings by going to your control panel or your system references if you're using a Mac. Check the volume control on your computer. In Windows, the sounds icon will usually be on the taskbar and you can also access the sounds option in the control panel of the screen or the system references. Most media programs such as iTunes or Window Media Player have a volume control which will need to be turned up. Make sure the speaker are turned on if using external speaker. Make sure ex external speakers are connected to DC correct audio port or USB port. If your computer has color coded ports, the audio put Output will usually be green. Connect headphones to the correct audio port and determine if its sounds is audible from the headphones. Searching the web for a solution. If you still haven't found the solution to your problem, you may need to ask someone else for help. Trying to research the web for the problem that you're having or you are having as other people may have had similar problems. Also, if you have a family, friends, member who knows a lot about computers, they may be able to help you. Keep in, in the mind that most computers probably have a simple solutions, although it may take some time to find them. For very difficult problems, a more drastic solution may be required, such as reformatting your hard drive, reinstalling programs, or installing your operating system. If you are not a computer expert, it's possible that you could make the situation worse. So it is the best to consult a professional if you think a drastic solution is needed.